What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Bad Boy Strike boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythm. What's up guys? Carlo here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Bad Boy Strike boxing gloves. I got mine in 16 ounces. A hook and loop closure. And this red color. Bad Boy also makes this in a 12 ounce. A blue, a black, and a silver. And they currently do not make this any lace up. This is, so this is purely... A velcro glove so let's go over the five things first is going to be the glove design you can see it has a pretty simplistic design it uses a synthetic leather casing on the outside the foam is consisted of IMF so injected molded foam IMF is a, a one-piece foam that's known to be uh, great protection but it takes a long time to break in and it's a little a little bit stiff and uncomfortable at first but when you break it once you break it in it's really comfortable and it gives you a lot of protection especially on heavy bags uh, so for those of you that's looking for a more of a protective entry-level glove, this would definitely fit the bill. Um, you can see here that it has the Bad Boy logo on the Velcro strap here, as well as it printed towards the end of the tab of the strap. On the back side, you have the Bad Boy logo on the back of the hand. I'm not sure how I feel about the Bad Boy logo. I've never really been a fan of how it looks. I, I feel like they can do a better design than just these two eyes. It looks kind of, I don't know, kind of tacky in my opinion. Maybe just revise the logo to make it look a little bit more professional, look look more you know like a real fighting brand rather than just a couple of eyes and the word bad boy maybe just kind of reinvigorate their branding a little bit to, to make it a little bit more marketable in my opinion but again that's just my opinion um, going around here you can see that it has the grip bar on the inside with a nylon strap for the attached thumb and on the wrist it has about a half inch layer of padding uh, one thing I noticed is that they incorporated a little bit more padding along the wrist and kind of forms like the letter J right here. And that is kind of more of a Muay Thai aspect that they added, or should I say a Muay Thai element that they added to this glove so that when you parry shots, you can you can absorb the impact with that little extra padding they added. Uh, and alongside, they have some more padding right here for support uh, with the 16 ounce uh, logo right there. The inside uses a standardized polyester nylon liner. Um, and then the inside of the back of the wrist right here uses the same uh, synthetic leather material on the back of the wrist for durability as well. It does have that nice contrast with the white piping along the wrist on the inside as well as on Velcro strap. Now quality of these gloves are decent. Um, I've never really been a fan of synthetic gloves just because if you take care of leather, it lasts a long time. If you condition them, if you clean them really well, they can last you for a very long time. And just the overall fit and feel of leather feels like more luxurious, uh, and it's just a better feeling glove. Synthetics, are, you know, have definitely come a long way. Um, I do like the bad, the you know, the material they use on here. It definitely feels thicker than the Elite and some of the Venom synthetic gloves that feel a little bit more softer. These feel a little bit more rigid. The material itself feels a, a little bit more thicker as well so you can see here that it has a nice shine to it it's not matte it's not super shiny like a winning it's kind of right in between there and you could already see that um, this IMF phone already has some dimples that are popping up there that's synonymous with IMF with injected molded foam I've noticed that a lot of my IMF foams that I've used in the past eventually would get these little dimples especially on the, the impact surface so I've kind of just kind of grown accustomed to it some, with that imperfection there um, quality wise I wish they would have gone with you know a, a synthetic leather strap just to kind of keep everything the same but they uh, obviously at this price point you can't expect too much with this kind of glove so they use a nylon strap there um, all of the stitching on the glove is done pretty well the one area that I noticed that it started to kind of come apart is right here along the edges and again that's kind of a stress stress area that you you have with all gloves when they stitch this through and and, and the the stitching pulls through on the material especially on the synthetic it just doesn't hold as well as some of the more uh, top grain leather where it really has that strength and durability and actual fibers of the leather um, so quality wise they're they're okay they're decent um, the balance of the glove is definitely a little bit more top heavy um, the IMF is a little heavier on towards the knuckle area um, so it's not as balanced as I would like to see um, because it's more of a top heavy glove and most of the weight is distributed towards the knuckles um, Comfort wise putting this glove on They're pretty comfortable. I would say the stature of the glove is a medium size It's not too small and it's not too large So bad boy did a nice job with the profile of the glove not making it too big or too small I feel like my hand fits fits in here really nicely. The thumb is the big area of opportunity here 
it is definitely in an awkward position so I definitely feel like my finger jams right inside here if I if they were just kind of pull this thumb in a little bit more and make it kind of just like that <laughs> if they made the thumb just like that and formed it it would be really comfortable and I, this would actually make the, the comfort of the glove you know twice as good in my opinion just because your the thumb is really a big part of how you're your, how your hand feels when you make a fist and if it's awkward and it has kind of one of those deals then you feel really uncomfortable especially if you're putting in multiple multiple rounds on of training in uh, eventually that will definitely start to bother you so I wish that they can kind of revise this thumb and pull it in a little bit more and not have it stick out so far but the fingertip feels really good nice and comfortable there's no pinch point I don't feel like the thumb here is pushing against my the inside of my my hand right here and gets at any discomfort. I didn't feel like I have any pressure points with this. The wrist protection is really nice. It's pretty firm, you know, it's not super loose. It's not overly tight as well. So the wrist protection feels really good. The finger compartment feels really nice. There is some excess material in here that they could do better without letting it bunch up. So there is a little bit of bunching up on the fingertip and you can definitely feel the seam of where they stitch the fingertip right here. So, um, you know, a couple of little details that they could improve on, but the main thing being the thumb. So, um, you know, comfort wise, they're, they're pretty good. Just the, the small improvements they could do. So um, performance of the gloves, they perform really nicely. Um, the IMF foam, again, you don't get much better shock protection than that. You can see that the foam on here is super dense. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of give. So this is definitely not a puncher's glove. This is definitely on the realm of protection. Um, you definitely don't get a lot of good feedback with these gloves when you're hitting the bag. You can feel that you hit the bag, but if you're looking for that nice sharp feel like you would with some of the puncher's gloves where your knuckles kind of go through and you can really feel that you landed that shot, these gloves don't do that. Um, but if you like to really wail on the bag and, and you know really put in some heavy power shots in, these do a really nice job of protecting your hands. So, you know, protection wise and performance wise, um, these do really well for those of you that are looking primarily for protection. If you're looking for a feedback style glove, um, these are definitely not that. If I would go with something that's a little bit more of a puncher's glove. Um, uh, in this price range, I would say um, the, Ven the Venom Challenger 3.0s are a good one. Um, the Elite gloves that I did a while back, which were about, I think they're about $30, are also a little bit better as far as the foam goes if you're looking for something with a little bit more feedback than the IMF that is in these bad boy gloves. So cost-wise is the biggest advantage that these gloves have over a lot of other gloves. These gloves are $29. Um, any cheaper than that, I don't know how they would even have a profit margin uh, with a glove that's 20, you know, lower than 29 bucks. So for $30, um, this is really a good glove, man. I mean, I can't really think of anything that's cheaper than this glove that offers the features that this glove has at that price point. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys leave your comments down below in the comments box. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys reach out to me. I always like to answer any questions that you guys may have. And I'll make sure to leave the link in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.